Someone might be tracking your iPhone right now, and you wouldn't even know it until it's too late. Your privacy, your data, and even your safety could already be at risk. Forget about those orange and green dots or dialing secret codes. Those aren't the most reliable signs. I've got a practical step-by-step -step way to find out if someone's been tracking or even snooping, starting with a feature that's already built into your iPhone. Screen time. First, open your settings app, scroll down and tap screen time. If it's off, switch it on. This is the key to seeing if anyone's been secretly using your phone. Now tap see all activity. This shows you exactly which apps have been opened and when. If you notice apps like photos, messages, or social media being accessed at hours, you weren't using your phone, that's a red flag. Scroll further down to pickups. This shows the first time your phone was picked up each day. If it says 3 a.m. while you were asleep, that's another sign someone's been in your device. One quick note. If you've just activated screen time, you might need to wait 24 hours before you see your activity log. But once it's running, you can use this not only to spot if your partner or a stranger has picked up your phone, but also to detect remote tracking attempts. Any suspicious activity that wasn't you is a clue worth taking seriously. And here's the detail most people miss. If you see unusual activity here, you can cross-check it with one more feature to confirm if someone is keeping tabs on your location. Open the Find My app now and tap people at the bottom. It'll show anyone you've allowed to view your location. If you spot a name you don't recognize, someone who shouldn't be watching you, you can tap that person. Now, swipe up on the small panel that appears from the bottom of the screen. From here, select Stop Sharing My Location to immediately revoke access. Want to shut it off completely? Tap the Me tab at the bottom, then switch off Share My Location that instantly blocks all location access from everyone. If you want more confirmation, open settings, tap your name, then find my and toggle of sharing my location, or go to privacy and security, location services, find my, to review who could be tracking you from system settings. Here's something many don't realize. Turning sharing off through settings does not notify anyone. They just lose access quietly. And unlike sharing via messages, there are no banners or invitations sent out when you revoke access via Find My. Still suspicious? Go back to settings and tap your name at the top. Scroll to the bottom. You'll see a list of every device signed in with your Apple ID. If you spot something you don't own or haven't used in years, tap it, then tap Remove from account. If that device keeps reappearing later, it means it's still signed in somewhere. You'll need to sign out of iCloud on that device or erase it so it can't reconnect. Now check the part almost everyone forgets, your trusted phone numbers. These numbers can receive verification codes and even help reset your password. So if a number you don't control is here, someone else could break back in. In settings, tap your name, sign in and security, two-factor authentication, edit next to trusted phone numbers, remove any number you don't own, then add your current number and a second backup you control. Change your Apple ID password next. In settings, tap your name, sign in and security, change password, and set a brand new one you've never reused anywhere else. This instantly kicks out anyone who had your old password. This one's sneaky because it hides in a place most iPhone users never even check. Sometimes tracking tools disguise themselves as profiles that quietly control certain parts of your device. Here's how to check. Open settings, tap general, scroll down to VPN and device management. If you see a profile you don't recognize, maybe with a strange name, a company you've never worked for, or something that just feels off, tap it. Then choose remove profile. Once it's gone, restart your iPhone to clear any lingering permissions. And if you want to be extra safe, Run a quick scan through your Safari extensions and installed apps to make sure nothing else slipped in with it. Because here's the truth. Profiles are like secret back doors. If you close them, you slam the door on anyone trying to sneak into your phone without your knowledge. If your iPhone's data bill has been climbing and you don't know why, it could be more than just streaming a few extra YouTube videos. 
Spying apps work quietly in the background, sending your personal information to whoever's watching. And that data trail shows up if you know where to look. Here's how to check. Open settings, tap mobile service or cellular. Scroll down to see a full list of apps and exactly how much data each one is using. If you spot an app you don't remember installing or see one that's burning through gigabytes for no logical reason, that's a red flag. Tap on it, and if you can, disable its cellular data right away. Then dig deeper. Delete the suspicious app if you don't use it. Run an iPhone software update to patch any vulnerabilities. Because here's the thing, legitimate apps don't hide. But a spying app? It thrives on staying invisible until your data bill exposes it. If your iPhone's battery is running out faster than a cup of coffee on a Monday morning, and it's getting warm when you're not even using it, you should be on high alert. Both issues often come from the same culprit. Something is working hard in the background without your permission. Spying apps can constantly ping your GPS, send your data to unknown servers, or keep your microphone and camera active, all of which drain battery and generate heat. To check, go to settings, then battery, and see which apps are hogging the most power in the last 24 hours or 10 days. If you see an app you don't remember installing or one using way too much battery for no reason, that's a red flag. Also, if your iPhone stays warm even after you close all apps, swipe up from the bottom or double press the home button, then swipe away each app. It's worth investigating further. In extreme cases, a full backup and factory reset might be the safest way to remove anything suspicious. If your calls or texts are going to places you didn't approve, that's not just creepy, it's dangerous. Let's lock that down before it gets ugly. First, open settings, tap messages, then text message forwarding. You should only see devices you personally own, like your iPad, your Mac, maybe an old iPhone you still keep around. If you spot something you don't recognize, toggle it off immediately. Next, still in messages, tap send and receive. Make sure only your phone number and your email are listed. If there's an unfamiliar number or email here, remove it. Because if you don't, someone could be secretly cloning every text you send and receive in real time. Now, head back to settings, scroll to phone and tap call forwarding. If it's switched on, check where those calls are being sent. If it's a number you don't own, turn it off immediately. This is one of the oldest tricks in the book for hijacking calls and your carrier probably won't even warn you when it happens. Finally, in the phone settings, tap calls on other devices. Either turn it off completely or make sure it's only on for your personal iPad or Mac. Leave a stranger's device in here and they could be listening to your calls without you ever knowing. Bottom line, if you see anything suspicious, cut it off before someone else starts answering your phone.